Hey guys, welcome to today's Vehicle Visionary. Today I have borrowed this 2021 version of the Chevrolet Trax from my friends at Red River Chevrolet. And this is the LS all-wheel drive trim level that we're going to take a look at. So what exactly makes up this model? Let's dig in and find out. The Chevrolet Trax is not what it may appear to be at first glance. The smallest SUV in the Chevrolet lineup is actually larger inside and more capable than a first glance may indicate. The Trax is best described as a small SUV that turns heads while turning corners. The model in today's Vehicle Visionary video is the LS all-wheel drive model. The exterior features halogen headlamps, daytime running lamps, and 16-inch aluminum wheels. Safety features include Stabilitrack stability control with traction control, 10 standard airbags, and a rear vision camera. Under the hood is the 1.4 liter turbocharged engine producing 138 horsepower and 148 pound-feet of torque. This may not sound like enough power, but it does in fact get the tracks down the road with no trouble based on the curb weight of 3,124 to 3,292 pounds, making for a solid horsepower to weight ratio. As mentioned earlier, the tracks in today's video is an LS all-wheel drive model and ultimately puts power to the ground via a six-speed automatic transmission. Gas mileage numbers come in at 23 city, 30 highway, and combined at 26 miles per gallon. Cargo space comes in at a maximum of 48.4 cubic feet, and the rear seats fold flat to maximize cargo space. However, if you have trouble folding down the rear seats, take a look at the screen as I am showing you right now how the process works by moving the seat cushions out of the way. There is a release on the bottom side that allows this process to work. Additional benefits include remote keyless entry, OnStar services, and 4G LTE Wi-Fi availability, a 7-inch touchscreen with built-in features for compatible smartphones such as wireless Bluetooth, voice commands, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. Now, one of the interesting things about the tracks that I must admit is that it takes me back to being a kid. Now, why is that? Well, of course, you have the remote right here. It has the lock and unlock button, a panic button. It even has remote starts. That's always a nice plus on any vehicle. But you might notice it doesn't look like there's a key, but there is a button on the fob itself click that and the key kind of just switches out. I call it a switch key because it reminds me of the switch combs from the 1980s, something that for some reason my parents would never let me have. Okay, as we head out onto the road for our test drive, there is a manual mode. Pull the shifter all the way back to M. So let's see how that works. I'm kind of curious to see see if it's responsive. Yeah, it's, it responds to the touch as you push the button on the shifter to change gears. Got up to a little bit of speed there, but I was just kind of curious to find out. So what is the ultimate driving experience like in this tracks? Well, I must say, it drives really well. Of course, being all-wheel drive, you're gonna have better control as I go blowing past a Mitsubishi Eclipse, something you don't see very often. Sorry, Chevrolet, I don't mean to get distracted by another brand, but that's just not something you see very often. So, I'm really impressed though. The driving and the handling is really good. You know? And again, goes back to being an all-wheel drive vehicle that's going to always make a difference stability whether you live in a climate like we do here in northwest louisiana where we rarely get snow and ice it does happen every once in a while we had a big hit of that earlier this year and a lot of people i know said that they would never not own an all-wheel drive vehicle again and we're going to go around this slower moving car here that's doing about 10 miles per hour under the speed limit but i hate to pull out in front of somebody so give me just a second here and we're going to do a nice little acceleration test because well it's necessary so let's get back up to the speed limit here 
Now this little turbocharged engine actually has some solid pep. And I know I don't have a lot of weight in the car. I don't have a lot of cargo. It's just me in the vehicle, 175 pounds worth. So yeah, it's kind of hard to say how it would go down the road with more people in it and all that kind of stuff. But I must say I'm pretty impressed not a high horsepower model, but that's not a bad thing for some people. There are people out there who would be very content with this vehicle, no matter how much horsepower it does or doesn't make. Are there advantages to more horsepower? Well, for some people, yes. And for some people, no. Tell me down in the comments, what is your preference? Do you like more horsepower with the tracks? Would you like to see that? Are you happy with the way that it is, especially if you're a current owner? This vehicle isn't made for hot rodding around really, but I'll tell you what, it does handle well. That's the advantage of a shorter wheelbase, a smaller crossover like this, is you are going to get great handling. And even though this is not one of the worst roads I could drive this on, I could probably take it somewhere else and really put it through its paces as far as riding quality goes. But this road, I've driven this road in a lot of other vehicles, Suburbans and full-size trucks and dualies and Chevrolet 2500s, this road isn't necessarily as smooth as it looks. And so I must say the Trax is handling it very well. So overall, it's just a nice little vehicle to drive. Overall, I'm really impressed for not having a lot of horsepower. The get up and go is there when you need it. But at the same time, when you don't, the gas mileage is exceptional. And the price point really isn't that bad. Uh, for this day and age, for the technology that you get. You know, I did a video with this very model uh, that you can look at. I'll put it down, I'll link it down in the description of this video where I showed how to pair your phone. You can pair it wirelessly. You can also use your USB cable to take advantage of some additional options there if you so desire to do so. But overall, I mean, I'm really impressed here. A lot of great features, a lot of great functionality. Uh, for the price point, I think Chevrolet has done very well here especially for 2021. So if you're in the market for a smaller crossover SUV, what do you think about this 21 version of the Trax, especially on this particular trim level? Tell me down in the comments. If not, tell me what you are considering and why. Gotta say a special thanks to my friends at Red River Chevrolet for loaning me this model for the day. And of course, to all of you for giving me the opportunity to give you a vision for your next vehicle. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click on another video that is on the screen right now, and I will see you there.